Hi students, coming to the next uh, prescriptive process model that is a RAD model. So in the previous videos I explained about the waterfall model and the incremental model those comes under the prescriptive process model and now coming to the third one that is a RAD model. Okay, so actually this RAD it is an incremental model we call it also means the extension for this incremental model. It is an incremental model that emphasizes on extremely short development cycle so whenever we are dealing with the short development cycle it's better to go for the rad model rather than going for the incremental model okay let me write that it is an incremental model that emphasizes emphasizes on extremely short so it is uh, you have to consider the projects which are uh, taking a small duration of time to complete the project or to deploy the project uh, the development cycle that is from uh, nearly that is from for example you can take 60 to 90 days if you want to develop a product within this 16 to 90 days it's better to go for the rad model of implementing the project for communication planning modeling and construction deployment it better to go for the rad model by using uh, rather than using the incremental model so now uh, before uh, ex discussing about what is a rad model now let us see what are the phases that are present in rad model the different phases that are present in rad is just like everything the communication is first the communication phase we are the user the customer and the developers are interacting with each other so that the customer can give the specifications to the user means the requirements to the uh, developer the customer or the user is giving the requirements to the uh, developer so the developer can develop the project so that will be done in the communication stage so after taking the specifications and requirements the developer is ready to planning the project so the next stage is the planning so planning it includes all the documentation everything in the form of uh, whatever the user is asking so that will be placed in the form of documentation so the planning includes from starting to ending means the size of the project and the resource that we are using and the maintenance cost it takes the error cost it is taking everything will be uh, present in this planning section only so after planning the developer is trying to model the project modeling includes so here the modeling in the rad model the modeling will be of uh, the modeling includes business modeling based on the usage of the uh, customer as a based on the the person who is developing the process uh, for understanding they can go different types of modelings they can introduce the business modelings they can take the data modeling only the modeling can be used for to clear cut of the product or the clear cut of the process business modeling data modeling and process modeling so any one of the modeling can be included or all the three can be included so business modeling and the data modeling is just like a data objects that you are going to be used in the data and the process modeling is the, here the data objects are transformed to implement a business functions so for modeling they required all these three to implement the project and next stage is the construction So in the construction they try to write the code so but here the rad model will use a fourth generation techniques to write the uh, construction code it follows the fourth generation techniques and the final is the deployment so after everything uh, this is the deployment. so whatever the model you are taking whatever the uh, phases you are taking so every phase will follow these steps first you have to communicate with the person next you try to plan the project and next you try to model the project next construction and deployment so everything will be like this so the names are changing just in place of construction uh, we are we can write the implementation like that so modeling planning and uh, this is the activity like that okay so let me draw the di uh, diagram of rad model so that you can understand what exactly the rad will be differ from the increment so this is a team one the team one first go for the business modeling 
so after taking the specifications from the customer means the communication and uh, planning they try to model the project the modeling can be uh, each team will be uh, model the each module so first they try to build the business modeling of the planning next they try to build the data modeling next process modeling after that so after modeling they try to generate the code that is application generation implementation application generation next testing and turnover testing and turnover means handover thing a project so this is the team one is going to do uh, this type of technique next in the same way the team two so team two business modeling data modeling process modeling next application generation next testing and turnover turn over okay so like that the team three also like that so it will be divided into uh, different teams here the uh, this rad model uses multiple teams on scalable projects so whatever the project they did they are divided the into teams and each team is performing their own functions to implement the uh, code means to implement the module so it's just an incremental model it's just like an incremental model but the main difference is this rad will be used only for the small projects so those projects those process that you need to submit within the cycle of 60 to 90 days then it's better to go for the rad model rather than using the incremental model so let me write the points this rad it uses component based structure the first thing is it uses components based construction and emphasis reuse and code generation also and next it uses multiple teams uses multiple teams on scalable performance on scalable projects not performance sorry the projects so this rad model uses multiple teams team one team two team three like that uses multiple teams on scalable project uh, the and then it requires heavy resource it requires heavy resources why it requires heavy resource because each team is working on the same project the team one team two team three so the manpower it has to be increased in by using the rad model why we required more manpower because we had to submit the project within 60 to 90 days so it requires heavy resource and uh, requires developers to write the code everything required developers and customers who are heavily com committed who are heavily committed what it means means you have you have a commitment between the customer and the developer suppose if this developer is doing this project by using the rad application means rad model means they have to be committed in that project only so that he can full full fledged uh, work on that project and he is try to complete within those days so those person who that has to be dedicated to that project only so requires developers and customers who are heavily committed and performance can be a problem here by using the rad model performance can be a problem and also it is difficult to use with new technologies also let me write that point also difficult to use with new technologies so this is about the rad model thank you